So I've been making a bunch of really easy and affordable DIY projects, at least for my house and other people's houses as well, that I've personally never seen before. So I wanted to show you guys those today in depth so you can try them at home too. First up is my interactive accent wall that I've been working on. You guys probably remember when I painted this checkerboard accent wall in the spare bedroom that I planned to turn into a getting ready room with all of my clothes and supplies in it, but I recently had the idea that I could make it interactive by adding storage. So I got a bunch of these boxes from Michaels and I painted them yellow to match the squares. Then in each one, I put something that needs to be stored to help save room. So for the first one, I got some ring holder material off of Amazon. I put it inside with some hot glue and I think it's a really creative way to store my rings. The ring material I ordered is really inexpensive and it comes in a multi-pack so you can actually save them for extra DIYs or if you just have a lot of rings you can make a bunch of them. Next I got a magnetic sheet and I cut it down to size and placed it inside with some hot glue as well and this creates bobby pin storage and honestly I feel like I could make a whole bunch of these because I am always losing bobby pins but you could also use clips or any other type of metal material. And next I got some strong adhesive to put these small hooks inside and these are going to be used to hang bracelets or hair ties or scrunchies. And it's really that simple. All of these DIYs are so easy to create and you just need one additional supply and barely any time at all. The last iteration of this that I came up with was actually just a shelf. So I got this tray from Michaels as well and I painted it that yellow color to match. And then it can really just be screwed into the wall or I'm going to command strip it for now because I'm not sure where I want any of these to go yet. I just think that this is so much fun and I think you could do this even if you don't have a checkered board accent wall because the wood on the wall would still look really nice. You could stain it any sort of color and you could get any size boxes. I think this is just a really good idea in general to save space with storage. My next idea is laundry decals and a disclaimer that I messed these up but the idea still stands that this would work for you guys at home if you did something a little bit different than I did. So you guys know how I've been working on my laundry room off and on so I decided that I wanted to try out these decals on the washer and dryer and so I made some similar ones on my Cricut. I have a lot of really in-depth Cricut tutorials on my page for anyone who has one and wants to know exactly how I create anything on my Cricut but if you don't have a Cricut you could always just use scissors to cut out a design and make something original. Original. I decided to make a circle with a squiggle inside, but it was kind of a fail because my washing machine doesn't have a flat surface on the front, so you've been warned if yours is like this too, it does not work. But I think if you have a washer and dryer that have a smooth front, kind of like my dryer, then you can make so many cool, cute designs with this. You can make something really unique with this, and I think that I'm going to try again to make something that goes around the rim, so that way it's a little bit more flat on both of them. And the last DIY that I've done recently is is this 3D abstract piece. Now pause because I know a lot of people don't like this one. I've gotten quite a bit of flack for this on all of my social media and I'm going to stand up for it because I think it has potential. Basically, I got some pipe insulation from the hardware store because I thought it had a lot of potential and I stuffed it with a bunch of wires so that I could bend it to a shape. I saw a lot of people mentioning that a pool noodle would work just fine and is cheaper, but I don't recommend that because they are different materials and I think the pool noodles would definitely break if you bend them like this. And not to mention, the pool noodles are a lot thicker. I capped off the ends of the insulation with a piece of poster board so that it would look clean with some hot glue. And then I just went ahead and spray painted them to some ombre colors. There's going to be a rough patch where you ripped off the tag, so I recommend adding some spackle to it and then spray painting over it once again. And then you can just hang it with some nails and you have this really cool design that also can be hung from the ceiling or bent into a circle or maybe even be a light fixture. I think the possibilities are endless. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these achievable DIYs today and I'll see you all next week for some more design stuff. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.